Welcome back to SGUT TV. I'm Sol Gilbert, and if you like what I do, don't forget, please hit subscribe on YouTube. So we had the last, last, last meeting of the East Anglia Championship this weekend, and it was at Mildenhall. Um, it was, do you know what? It was one of those days when you sort of turn up for the practice on a Saturday, you kind of think, do you know what? This weekend is going to be hard, hard work. But do you know what? After the day of slop and, do you know what I mean? Like going around in a ton of mud and getting absolutely plastered, Sunday turned out to be a good day. It really did turn out to be a good day. We had so many, so many um, kids on the line. It was a really, really good event. Um, and you know what? There was a couple of moments. Obviously, you know, my son Boston. Do you know what I mean? He did amazing this weekend, and he got the championship first, which was really, really good. Uh, considering that Bayliss and Callum is their kind of like localish kind of track, and he was a little bit, boss was a little bit apprehensive about going onto this track because he had a big offer there at the start of the season and cracked his rib. So he had to overcome that, which again was a lot of mindset, a lot of positive talking, a lot of visualization of what he was kind of doing, and just like wanted to put that sort of bad meeting, which I think was the second or third meeting in the championship, to one side, and he had to go in there um, and really just sort of like deliver. So he did, but I've got to be honest with you, one of the most impressive things of the weekend was Young Wolbini. Well, Young Wolbini, for those of you that don't know, is an absolute stud on the 65. He's pretty much won the majority of things over the course of this year. He moved up to the small wheel, um, and he went out there and absolutely set it alight. You know, I mean, he absolutely, absolutely killed it. You know, him, R.I. Alcock, you know, they got the uh, overall first and second, and Boston got the third. You know, do you know what? It was a great, great weekend of racing. You know, Bayliss was a little bit unlucky, he got a DNF. Harrison Ford, I believe he got taken out. I don't know how, how that has sort of happened, but I saw him limping. Um, Callum Murphy as well, he was fighting all the way to the end. So anyway, it was a really exciting championship. I'm gonna show you exactly what sort of went on on that on, on that sort of race day. It was, it was really good, and you know what? It was rough as hell out there as well. So well done all you boys, and well done on everyone for completing an amazing championship. Thank you to East Anglia for putting on an amazing, amazing, uh, you know, year's worth of racing, really. The tracks have been absolutely mint, very, very challenging, and as always, you do a very professional job so thank you very much for having us this year anyway moving on we've got the dirt bike show this week so SGUT MX is really really getting um, ready for that we've got the, the mini bike championships so Boston's gonna be racing in that alongside Dylan alongside Mel alongside Brett alongside Bradley Pocock so it's gonna be really really cool we've got a lovely surprise on the stand uh, Revo are launching their 85 small wheel bike um, Oli Colmer teamed up with John Gifford as well so John Gifford racing uh, and Boston is going to be part of that as well so pop by the stand come and have a chat with us we've got loads of cool stuff going on on the stand there'll be loads of giveaways um, we could talk about training nutrition or whatever I'm there for the full days come and bug the hell out of me if you've got any questions come and see me and we'll go from there anyway check out this video next time you're going to see me will be after the dirt bike show for the next vlog but if you come to the dirt bike show drop by and I'll try and get you on my vlog which is going to be the dirt bike show vlog so anyway thanks for tuning in and remember hit subscribe so one of the one of the problems that kids have when we're in these camper vans is access to good food. So what I want to do is I want to show you how we do the motocross breakfast. Very, very simple. We're using some porridge oats, some peanut butter, a banana. We're also using some dairy-free milk and we're going to literally just cook it over with a little bit of water in there as well and make the oats really nice and tasty. And that's going to give Boston some really good slow releasing uh, energy throughout the course of the day or definitely throughout the first part of the morning anyway. So here we go. Check this out.
close to the last one of the championship. This is phase three of 36. It's been a manic year, manic, manic year. These boys have done amazing so far. Today we win championship first, championship fourth, and now this phase three, hopefully we'll finish with a good one. Let's have it.